What's up? What's up, guys? It's me. It's me. Your moving middleman CEO, right? AKA Sean John, right? So what's up? What's up? Uh, if you don't know who I am, I have a moving business, but I have no trucks, no crew, no anything. I also have a cleaning business and I have no mops, no crew, no anything. What do I do exactly? Glad you asked. And that is, I simply middleman the process and that's how I make money. And I, tr I want to get on just a little earlier, but I was in a meeting with one of my students who just took their first deposit. And so congratulations to you. Uh, I also want to tell you guys, I got a training that's going on. If you want to get into the training, just comment Zoom in the comments and I'll get the link for the training out to you. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be free live training. And I'm going to try to bless you and change your life. And I'm just so excited. I am super, super happy, super stoked because I, I know there's a lot of like course teachings and, and stuff that goes on out there. And I just want to make sure I got everything right. And I know that there are a lot of people who are trying to help other people out. And I super, super appreciate that. And, but I always say, listen, I'm the guy, I'm the guy that I'm not just going to leave you after you complete my course. I want to spend time with you. I know you're going to have questions. I know there's some things that's going to come up. You're not going to have the answer to. And I want to be with you throughout the journey, right? So if, when you finish the course and you go, Hey, I'm launching my business. And as you start going through the process, you start going, oh, I got a question about that. I'm not sure about that. Then I want to be there with you. I want you to reach out to me and I'm going to help you. Now, the other question you have. Is, so before I get into that, congratulations to everybody who's gotten to the masterclass and who have already started their business. And I get excited every time somebody take a deposit. I just got the message. One of the students just took a deposit. Oh, that makes me so happy. Right. That makes me so happy because it means what I'm teaching you is working. Right. And so, man, I'm, I'm just so happy. Like I'm an emotional guy. I can, I can really shed a tear. I'm that happy because more than my success, I want to see other people successful. So I'm blessed. I'm grateful to be where I am today financially. Uh, just a few years ago, it wasn't all this. I was I was struggling. I was homeless. Uh, I had nothing. And then very quickly, my life turned for the better. And I'm thankful for everything. I'm blessed. I thank God for every opportunity. Uh, I always say, look, whatever he allows us to have, me and my family, uh, we're thankful for it. We're going to take care of it. But I know it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to him. I'm thankful he let me use it while I'm here in this, on this earth. And uh, also, I've been thinking about doing, a, uh, doing Bible studies uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just feel it. Uh, but I've, I've been thinking about doing Bible studies on certain nights and stuff like that. So if you'd be interested in something like that in like a Bible study, just write the number one in the comments. And uh, if we get some people interested, we'll, we'll dive into it and start breaking down some scripture. Uh, because even though I want to make you rich, I want to make you wealthy, I want to change your life. There ain't nothing more important than understanding God's word, changing your life and surrendering your life to him. So uh, if you guys want to do that, I'm down. Just let me know and we'll set up a, a date and time so we can start on that. All right. So I know what you're thinking. I can read your mind. Why is this fool in pajamas? In the middle of the day, why is he in pajamas? Because I want to teach you something, right? That's why I hashtag PJ dollar sign. Pajama money. I want to show you that I could wake up in the morning, not change into any clothes that's presentable, stay in the house the entire day, wearing my pajamas, and still get paid. Now, how many of you can wear your pajamas and make money without working for somebody else? So how many of you can wear your pajamas, stay home, not have to work for a boss or a job, because I don't have a job, I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. Sometimes I don't get along with myself. <laughs> but how many of you 
can honestly say that if you had the opportunity to stay home, working your pajamas from home for yourself and make three, four, five hundred dollars a day without having to leave your house, you're welcome to leave, but you don't have to. And how many would say that's a good thing and I would like to know how to do that? Well, if that's you, and I know it's me, even though I do it, it's still me. I'm like, heck yeah, you can give me that all day. I'll pass on the office. I'll pass on the morning meetings. I'll pass on the smelly bathrooms that my coworker keep blowing up, right? Like Stanley from Friday, woo, Stanley, right? And so I'll pass on all of that and I'll put my future into my own hands by creating my own business. Is that okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Just bear with me. We're gonna make an adjustment real quick so you can get all of this. And that should be good enough. And now we're gonna dive into how to go about doing this. And so here we go in my pajamas. I'm gonna teach you, by the way, if you wanna get an invite to the Zoom tonight, uh, cause I have Zoom Thursday nights and the Zoom is gonna be off the chain. So I try to do them as often as I can. So even if you're watching this after I've already done this Zoom, uh, just write the word Zoom in the comments. And as soon as I do another one, you'll get the invite. And then you'll be able to join me as I break this down for you more thoroughly, right? So here's what I want you to know. First thing I want you to know is what is a middleman business? Because I know this is the first thing you're going to ask. Sean, what in the round world is a middleman business, right? So the first thing I'm going to teach you in the order of making this PJ money, I'm in my pajamas and I still make money. I'm going to teach you a couple things, right? So the first thing you need to know is what is a middleman business? Well, I want you to think of companies like Uber. I'll give you three examples. Uber, Airbnb. How many familiar with these companies? Instacart. How many familiar with these companies? So how many people on here are familiar with Uber, Airbnb, Instacart? Well, these companies are what I call middleman companies. The reason I call them that is because these companies do simply this. They find customers. Hope you guys can read that, but I'll read it to you out loud just in case. They find customers. They find a business or service. And then they match make, and I'll just put an M as the middleman. So these companies find customers, then they find a business, they connect the two as the middleman. So essentially Uber finds someone who needs a ride and then someone who has a car. So they find a rider and they find a driver. They connect the two, that's all they do. Uber doesn't own the car, they don't own the drivers, they don't own any of it. They simply middleman the process by saying, hey, I know someone who has a car who can give you a ride and then telling the driver, hey, I know someone who needs a ride and they introduce the two. That's middleman. Airbnb, Airbnb does not own the home. They don't own the property. They don't own the furniture. They don't own the rooms. They don't own any of it. Yet Airbnb goes out, find customers, connects them to someone who wants to rent a home and says, hey, I know someone who would like to rent your home. And then they say, hey, I know someone who would like to rent their home to you, right? I know someone who needs a place to stay. I know someone who has a place that you can stay in. And then uh, Airbnb is the middleman company. They simply are positioned in the middle. They don't own any of it. And that's how they're structured. Instacart, same thing. So Instacart finds someone who says, hey, I need my food, but I don't feel like going to get it, right? So I need someone to go and do it for me. And then Instacart says, I know someone who will go and do it for you, right? And then Instacart introduces the two. They meet, a connection is made. And when the connection is made, money is made. So this is what I call middlemanning. And this is the structure that, that they're compensated in is the revenue middle. Uh, revenue model is the gap model, right? So these companies get paid in the gap. So whenever the customer 
and the business do uh, do a transaction, these middleman companies get paid, right? So again, these companies don't own anything. This is simply the CMB model, customer, middleman, business, CMB. And so these companies are worth what? Thousands of dollars? <laughs> huh? Millions of dollars? No. These companies are worth billions of dollars. That's a lot of money. That's not a milli. That's a billy. That ain't a milli vanilli. That's a billy vanilli. Okay. So these companies using this basic model have made themselves very, very valuable and in turn made themselves a lot of money and made a lot of people a lot of money. And so what I do is I teach you to do the same thing, except on a smaller scale. You're probably not going to be a billionaire, right? So on a smaller scale. Now, you can, you can potentially make millions. You may not make it in year one. You may not make it in year two. You may not make it in year three, right? You, you, your, that might not even be your goal. Your goal might be, hey, 150000 a year. That's fine because you don't have to make a million dollars a year to change your life. That's a lot of money. You make $150,000 a year. You don't feel any inflation. Inflation, what's that? Gas prices are high. What's high? You don't feel any of that, right? And so that's the benefit of creating a business that does not require your time because most people, they pay for life with their time. How do I know that? Well, they sell their time to get paychecks and then they use the paychecks to pay for their entire lives. Their bills, their expenses, their car, their house, everything comes through a paycheck. Well, how did they get the paycheck? They sold their time. See, I told you, they're paying for it with their lives. They get to the gas pump, $60 to fill up. They're making $20 an hour. Man, that thing just cost them three hours of work just to put gas in this car. I don't know about you, but that ain't a good feeling. And I've done it and it's not pretty. And uh, I'm still excited uh, about my student who just got out of class, already got a deposit. Let's go. Come on now. Whoo, that is exciting news. So uh, here we go. Here we go. So Uber, Airbnb, Instacart, Lyft, uh, Tinder, Instagram, so many companies are middleman companies that don't do the thing, but they create a platform where you can get the thing done. Uh, Google's the same way. And so what I'm going to teach you is three things, because all you need to know is three things to be successful in creating your own middleman business, right? And I'm going to show you really, really quickly. Here's what you can do. I'm going to teach you all you need to know to book your customer. First step, you're going to book a customer, right? Now, there are several ways that you can book a customer, right? You can get, you can get a phone call. You can get a text message. You can get an email. Either one, right? And so a customer may text you and say, hey, I'd like to get a quote. Customer may email you and say, hey, I'd like to get a quote. A customer might call you and say, hey, I'd like to get a quote. It's really up to you how you want to be contacted. And so you'll put that on your promotional items so that the customer knows here's how to contact you. But a lot of customers are going to text messages because they're working during the day, they're busy, and they just don't want to talk. They just want to get the information. So you're going to get the customer's information, find a customer, and book them. As soon as you find a customer and book them, Second thing you're going to do is you're going to get paid, right? This is my second favorite part, even though I love getting paid. But the last part is my favorite. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to get paid. Now, what I do, I teach you as often as I can. My goal is to get you on average to make per booking $150. DC, which is a deposit commission. Remember, a customer is going to call, text, or email you to get a quote. Either way, we're good. So the customer is going to reach out to you. They're going to call you, text you, or email you. And I'm going to teach you how to book, how to get a deposit. And then the last thing I'm going to teach you, which is my favorite part, because I don't like doing hard work. I'm going to teach you simply how to dispatch. 
Now, when you dispatch, that means the work and information is going to leave you and go to your independent service professional or what I call an ISP. And so now you have an ISP. You've gotten the customer's information, given a quote. You've made $150 deposit commission and you dispatch the work to someone else who's going to do the work. By the way, uh, the guy, my guy uh, who's, who just texted me and let me know he, he's gotten his first deposit. Come on, guys. Tell me it's worth it. Uh, he's not going to be doing any of that work. He can literally take his deposit and go do whatever he wants to do with the rest of the day. If he wants to go walk his dogs, he can do that. If he wants to go hang out at the mall, he can do that. If he wants to go hang out with his kids, his spouse, his girlfriend, whatever, he can do that. If he wants to go down to the beach, chill, he can do that. If he wants to go see a movie, he can do that. Why? Because he's already gotten paid. He's taken a deposit. Money is on its way to his account, and he doesn't have to worry about getting the job done. The job, the work part, belongs to somebody else. So I don't want you to think about going out and doing the work. There's already companies out there who's willing to go out and do the work. We don't want to do the work, right? I'm not trying to do the work. Are you? Do I look like I'm dressed to do some work? I'm literally in my pajamas in my home office, right? I left the house a couple times today, get some, get some drink and stuff like that. Other than that, I'm about to leave the house and go do a workout, something I enjoy doing. What I don't enjoy doing is working hard. Right. And so I don't encourage anybody to have to work hard. There's nothing wrong with it. It's admirable, but it's going to wear you down. You're, right. You're limited on your strength. You're limited on your energy. You're limited on your time. So if you wake up in the morning and your life process works like this, wake up, get dressed, get breakfast, go to work, clock in which is another way for another word for selling time. So you sell your time from morning to afternoon. They might, if they're willing, might give you a little break, give you a 30 minute break, a one hour break, something like that, just to give you uh, just a little bit of rest. And then you back to work and they work you again. If you think that's freedom, then we're going to agree to disagree. I don't think that's freedom. I think that's prison. Now, am I telling you to quit your job? No, I'm not telling you to quit your job. Keep your job. A job is a good thing when you have nothing else. But when you have something else, mm, job might not be so good, right? So I personally, I've been doing middlemaning for, for three years. So my company, Jumpin' Jack Movers, we've been in the middleman business since 2020. This is my fourth year. I made 77,000 year one, no clue what I was doing. Probably should have made more, but not bad for a guy that is just starting out, don't know what he's doing. And if I had the training and the, and the, the channel like this and somebody talking about it, man, I would. there's no way I wouldn't have cleared 120, $130,000 that year. I would, have, I would have almost doubled, but I was finding out the hard way. You don't always have to find out the hard way. You got me, right? So I try to teach you the best way to do it. So here I am in my pajamas, in my home office, homeless a few years ago, started my business in 2020, no clue what I was doing, made 77 grand, got a goal this year to make $350,000. And I'm going to hit it. And I'm probably going to hit it before the end of the year. And now I share with you how to do the same thing. So imagine if I can make 77000 without knowing what I was doing with nobody to teach me, nobody to answer my questions, no mentorship, no coaching, no classes, no YouTube channel, no Instagram. By the way, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Middleman CEO. Uh, but I had none of this. Also LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. I think I'm on TikTok. Go over there. Follow me. But I had none of this stuff, right? I had no guidance whatsoever. I had to find out the hard way, right? Penny hard way. And it was tough, right? It was tough. I made a lot of mistakes. I, I lost money that I could have kept. I just didn't do a great job. And, but you guys, you're blessed. 
you're in a position, just think about it. You're in a position, you, you're in a position where you could change your life, not have to wake up, do a nine to five for the next five, 10, 20 years, because that's the only way you know how to make money. That's the only way you know how to make a living. Again, I'm not against work. I'm not against hard work. I'm not against having a job. I'm just against having a job as your only source of income. So some of you, you love your job. Fine, don't quit it. Most of you, <laughs> I'm just going to assume most of you prefer, would if you could, you would prefer not to go to work, not to be in that traffic all day. You guys spend an hour driving to work, an hour driving home. That's two hours a day, right? 60 hours a month that you could be using to make money for yourself, that you could be using to transition yourself away from the job into your own business. Think about it. If you could work from home and not have to drive two hours or an hour each day, how, what would that give you more time to do? Wouldn't that give you more time to do the things you enjoy doing? I love the fact that I don't have to get up and drive through Dallas traffic every morning. Now I'm up air every morning, early in the morning, right? Because we got we got a baby and, and she doesn't care what time the clock says. But we're up early in the morning. It could be five o'clock. We're making bottles, right? And I love it. You know, I enjoy it because this is probably my last kid, I'm sure. So, <laughs> but we wake up early in the morning. We got all this freedom. Uh, I shared with you guys the other day, last year in 2023 was my wife's last year of working hard. Right. And I semi retired her. And what I mean by semi is she, my wife likes what she does. So she didn't want to, to she didn't want to just stop. Right. My wife's in her thirties. She did. She just didn't want to just do nothing but sit at home. So she does go to work every once in a while, but she doesn't have to. Does that make sense? She doesn't have to get up and go to work. We make, I make plenty enough money through my middleman companies. I told you my goal is $350,000 this year and I'm going to crush it. Uh, but that wasn't my goal my first year because I didn't know what I was doing. I only made 77K my first year. And the reason I know that, I went back and looked at my Stripe account to see, uh, man, what in the world did I do my first year when I was barely, barely figuring this stuff out, barely even knew what I was doing. And 77K was the year. So still not bad. Most people in America make less than 77K a year. I was able to do it from home with no training. And so you guys are in a great position. You're blessed because you have training. You have somebody that's going to teach you. You have somebody that's going to educate you. Uh, you have somebody that's going to work with you. Like I, like I said, today I'm blessed. That's why I'm all happy and giddy. Even though I'm working from home, I still got my pajamas on. I usually change and put something decent on. But I ain't doing nothing today. I'm wearing my pajamas I'm working from home and I'm just trying to give you a visual that this could be you. This ain't rocket science. These companies, Airbnb, Uber, Instacart, they already do this. Right now, I'm not on that level. I wish I was, but this ain't rocket science. This ain't hard. My son's three years old. By the time he's five, he'll know how to do this. Right. Because we we raising we trying to raise millionaires up in this house. We're not trying to raise people that's going to look for jobs. Right. I always say because people are always like, are you are you saving up money for the kids college? Hell no. You're going to send your kids to college. I'm going to teach my kids how to create a business so they can hire your kids. I'm just saying I'm keeping it real. Can I keep it real? And I'm just telling you. And so, again, if if your life consists of things that you have to do because you you need the money, you've got to sell your time for money. And that's the only way you could get a paycheck again. I'm not against a job. I'm not against paychecks. The only thing I'm against is if that's your only source of income. So again, one of my students just texted me before I jumped on this live. That's why I'm so giddy and happy. And he was like, hey, got my first commission deposit. That's what I'm talking about. That means what I'm teaching you does work, right? And I'm so excited, so happy for him. And other students are killing it too. But I want, I just wanted this person because this person is all in on trying to change their lives. 
and and we've been talking we've been spending time together over the phone and just communicating and I'm, and I'm like hey I got you do this do that he's texting me he's like hey what do you think about this I'm like bro do this do this now say it this way text back he's like hey I got my deposit come on come on let's give this king uh, a round of applause because his first deposit is not going to make him rich. His first deposit is not going to make him a millionaire. It ain't going to make him six figures, right? But what it does is it proves the concept that this works. And it also shows him that if he digs into this, gives more time and energy and effort into this, that is going to change his life. So imagine making $150 in five minutes. Who else is going to pay you that? It takes me five minutes to go through my script and book a job. Five minutes, right? Max, seven minutes, because that's why I have a script, because I don't want to be on here long. Somebody else might call. I got to pick that up. I got to be ready to go. So customer calls me, bam, I'm locked in through my opening right away. I teach you how to do the same thing, right? So remember, I'm middleman for the moving industry. I also middleman for the cleaning industry and I don't clean and I don't move, but there are plenty of service professionals who do that and they're good at it. So I'm not going to compete with them. I'm just going to feed them. You remember that game It's funny. You remember that game, hungry, hungry hippo, where you hit the, hit the, I don't know, you hit the hippo and it, and the hippo reaches out and, and eats like the balls or whatever the, the things are. And you hit the mouth, the hippo's mouth open, goes out and just grabs and pulls in. Well, that is how I look at the service professionals. All these guys do, they want to eat. They're hungry hippos and they're eat, 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 eat. That's all they think about, eating. And eating refers to they need more work. They need more work. They need jobs. They need customers. They need it. But they, they don't know how to get it. They're really good at doing the work. They're not so good at getting customers. And so what I teach you to do and what I do, I step in and I say, hey, guys, you got a moving service. So I can literally be driving down the street and I'll see a moving service. I'll see the truck. And the truck could have moving on it. Bam, I'll back my car. I've done this plenty of time. My wife can tell you. I'll have my family in the car and I'll double back around just to get your business car. Because I know if you are out here doing that job, you're not answering your phone calls. So I'm going to go get the customers for you. And then I'm going to get paid and then send the customer to you so you can get paid, but I'm going to get paid first. And then I'm going to send the customer to you and you're going to be happy because you're the hungry hippo and you're eating and I'm feeding you. So you're going to come back to me and say, what else you got? Right. And I did this maybe, I don't know, not long ago. And I don't know. And I tell this story because it's really funny. Uh, a customer somehow, some way, had my phone number. Now, no customer should have my phone number, right? But somehow, some way, maybe through someone that we knew, the customer reached out to me and was like, hey, I answered the phone. I'm like, hey, what's up? Because uh, it's not my work phone. I'm like, hey, what's up? The customer's like, hey, uh, I need to get a quote. You guys do moving, right? I'm like, yeah, quote. And now I'm thinking like, wow, oh, my phone? Wow. And, and so I'm like, who in the world? I don't nobody calls this phone. This is my personal phone. I don't even know. So I didn't even talk about it. I was just like, yeah, what do you need? Because I wasn't even in sale in mode. I wasn't even in professional mode because it was my personal phone. I didn't expect anybody to call. And this happened twice back to back. And so, uh, so somebody hit me up and the customer was like, hey, listen. So the customer said this, the customer, and this is a true story. By the way, I, I saw the question. Give me one second. And so the customer said this, the customer said, hey, uh, so I need to move. And this was a local move in Dallas. So I figured the only way they got my phone number is through somebody I know. And the customer was like, Hey, uh, here's what you do. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, here's what I need. And I was like, okay, let me do this. And I'll walk you through the process. By the way, if this is helping you hit thumbs up, uh, really, really quickly and let me know. Uh, I saw somebody drop the comment. It says level up. Oh, I like that name level up. Oh my God. Look, there's a neighborhood. This is funny level up this is for everybody. There's a neighborhood here in Dallas. I think it's called, I don't know what it's called, but I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. This neighborhood has streets that are named uh, Inspirational Drive. Uh, uh, let's see, it's, it's Motivation Lane. 
this is a real neighborhood. I was driving through one day with my wife because we, we were looking at other houses because we want to build our dream house soon in the next year or two. And I was like, oh my God, imagine waking up to Sunshine Boulevard, inspirational drive. Unbelievable. Google it. You'll see it. I'm telling the truth. This is nuts. I can live in that neighborhood. All right. So, but uh, the customer hit me up and the customer was like, hey, I need to move, blah, 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 on this day, this time. And I was like, all right, well, probably got a referral from somebody else I know because you shouldn't have my number. And I was like, all right, so here's what we're going to do. I took the customer's number and I took the customer's info and I said, all right, I'll go ahead and schedule you. By the way, uh, we do require deposit up front in order to confirm the booking. I'll teach you all this. And, and, and the customer was like, okay, fine. And I took the deposit, it was 150 and I dispatched the job. I was done. I made a quick 150 I was out with my wife that day. Right. And then later that day, another person hit me up and that really got me spooked. Like, wait a minute, is my phone number online? And but this person did tell me that they got the number from someone I knew. And so this person hit me up and they booked. I took the information, took five minutes, made another 150. So in in two phone calls, about 10 minutes total, I made three hundred dollars, even when I wasn't trying to work, because some days I'm like, I don't want to be on my phone. Don't bother me. Text me if you need me. I'm going to hang out with the family on weekends. And I still made 300 bucks. So that ain't going to make you rich. That ain't a million dollars a year. I just wanted to share with you how quickly money can find you if you make yourself findable, right? So Level Up says, what'd you say, Level? How do I get the discounted price for your course? Uh, that's a great question. So here's what you do uh, because today the course is, uh, course is set. So if you go online, uh, you're going to go to middleman CEO. So I'll write it out. Middle, one word, M-I-D-D-L-E, middleman CEO.com. So that's what you do. Level up, go to middleman CEO.com. As soon as you get there, uh, you're going to see the word join. Go ahead and click join. Uh, because for today, uh, the course is on sale, so the court, you're going to see a price on there that's much higher, uh, but just click buy, click join, and you'll get the course at the uh, discounted rate. And then you get immediate access to the course. You get into the course. I give you about a week to complete it because the course is thorough. I give you about a week to complete it level up. So about this time next week, so if you go get the course right now, you're going to get it at a discounted rate. Just go to middlemanceo.com. It's not going to stay at that rate, but today it is. So go grab the course ASAP, click join, get the course. You'll see, you'll see the discounted rate pop, pop up when you go to checkout. And I give you about a week to go through the course. And then same thing I did with my guy who just texted me and said he got his first deposit commission. Come on, man. Come on. We're doing something big here. And so, and this is just the beginning for him. He's going to make a lot of money. And so... When you click join, you're going to get into the course. You're going to get immediate access to the class. It's a three-part training. Each one's about two hours. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to change your life. Uh, and then you'll be able, because most people who complete it, they are able to start the next day and make money the next day. Uh, and so as soon as you do that, I give you about a week. Just being straight up with you, I give you about a week. So about this time next week, me or my assistant, Cynthia, is going to reach out to you. And we're going to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you. Now, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, when I get a lot of students in here, and I'm expecting a lot, because uh, a lot of people want to make money with their phone and not have to keep going to work. So when, when, I, when we get a lot of students up in here, uh, I'm not going to be able to do the one-on-ones that I do now. And when I do them, they're going to cost a lot of money. Like the course plus the one-on-one -on -one might be 2500 just giving to you straight up, right? Now you can save 2,500 and get the course right now. And then it comes with some one-on-one -on -one with me, but I won't be able to offer that. And I know you guys understand why, because once I get too many students, obviously I can't spend time with everyone. But for now, if you grab the course, you get one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentor with me throughout the rest of the year. That's That alone is worth the price of admission because I'm going to be there for you, level up as you build your business and as you get into your industry and in your area and you start bringing customers in, you're going to have questions. 
You're going to have things that you don't know, things you're not familiar with. And you're going to be like, hey, I need to, I need to ask Sean this. I need to, and I'm here. Text me. Hey, Sean, look, I'm about to put this promotion out. Uh, check it out. Look, it, look over it for me and tell me if you like it or if I need to change anything. Okay, fine. I'll look at it. Say, yeah, I like this. Drop this. Too much information here. Move that and then relaunch it. Right. And just that might make you $10,000 over the year because your ad is better and more efficient and brings in customers. So it's going to be it's going to be worth it, guys. I'm telling you. But if you don't want to spend twenty five hundred very, very soon on the course and one on one training throughout the year, because you get me for the year, uh, go get it now. You'll be in my one on one. Uh, But soon it's going to cost a lot more because I'm not going to be able to do it with everybody. But go do it now, level up. Uh, just let me know as soon as you get it, and then you'll get into the course. I'll give you a week, and then you and I do some one-on-one as I help you set up your business. In fact, I just finished uh, a phone call with one of the students uh, out in Atlanta, helping him to set up his, helping him to get his advertising right, helping him to negotiate with the customers and the ISPs. And he texts me back. He's like, hey, got my first booking. That's what I'm talking about. I, I, I wish he was here so I could high five him, but a virtual high five I do right now. So, but he's he's not the first. He won't be the last. This is something anybody could do. This is something you could do. I just want to be here to help you to do it. I just want to hear your success stories. I love when I get those texts and calls. I love when my guy texts me the other day. He was like, "Hey, made 500 today." Come on. Now he's taking way more money than we do. We only take 150 dollars deposit. Uh, but he's taking 250 per deposit uh, because he's doing an industry that's worth a lot of money, right? So he's doing uh, home, what is it? Home uh, restoration, I think. And so he said like the average job is like 2,500. He just takes uh, 10%, which is nice. I would take 20, but uh, he takes 10%, $250. Not bad for 15, 20 minutes on the phone because those calls last a little longer. You got to get a little more details. But hey, 15-minute phone call, $250. That's $1,000 an hour if you're back-to-back. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, at home in my pajamas, beautiful day. I'm about to go work out and enjoy my day and finally leave the house. But I don't have to if I don't want to. Because I can literally stay home, watch TV. I don't Netflix and chill unless my wife's here. Other than that, I'll Netflix and skill. Like I might Netflix and watch a documentary or something like that. But uh, I don't watch a lot of television. I'm all about the grind. I'm all about trying to get paid and change my family's life. Uh, building our dream home. We'll, we'll let you see it. As soon as we uh, start designing it and putting it together, we'll let you check it out. So, uh, But anyway, uh, if you want to get uh, the course right now at a discounted price this day, this day only, middlemanceo.com. Click join. You'll see the discounted rate pop up. Go ahead and check out. I'll get an alert. Are you welcome to reach out and let me know? Uh, I'll get an alert. As soon as I get the alert, I know a week from then I can reach out to you and we can set up a one-on-one. So let it bless you. Let the work that I've learned, the hustle and grind I put in, let it bless you and change your life and help you to make a lot of money without leaving home. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a great trade-off. I think waking up and realizing that, hey, a year from now, I'm not going to need this job because my middleman business is going to be thriving. Me, I think that's something worth waking up to as opposed to, oh, I got to go to this job again. I got to sell my time again. Oh, I got this house note. I got to work here for 30 years to pay it off. Oh my God, I got this car note. I got to be here for five years just to cover this car. To me, that's prison. I don't want to live that way. I don't want you to live that way. I don't think you want to live that way. So if I can show you how to make an extra $5,000 a month or more, let's just keep it low without having to leave your house, would that be okay? If the answer is yes, and I believe it is, then that's what I want to show you. So if you want to get into the training tonight, the live training tonight, write the word Zoom in the comments. You'll get a link and I will teach you just a few steps on how to build a successful middleman business without leaving your house. I promise you, I'm going to do that. Also, if you guys want the Bible study, we can do it. So just let me know. Drop a one in the comments if you want the Bible study. If you want me to start doing a weekly Bible study, we can do it. 
Drop Zoom in the comments if you want to link to the free live training tonight. If you happen to miss this Thursday night, I will do another one. I don't know when, but go ahead and write Zoom. Anyway, we'll get it out to you. Uh, if you want to skip that, you've heard enough like the go-getters because I know that just like level up is a go-getter and I already know level up is like, look, bro, let's go. So if you're, if you don't need the Zoom and you're like, hey, let me get into this training, take this, this course, finish this masterclass, do some one-on-one -on -one with you before I'm not able to do one-on-ones, right? And hey, let me go ahead and just get this course right now. Then the way you do it, is just go to middlemanceo.com, click join, or or you can put middleman in the comments and I'll send you the link and you can go right there and get the course. Guys, get it. It's going up soon because it's get it's the course is starting to take off, which is a surprise to me and a blessing. I, I'm thankful. But the course is starting to take off, it's going fast. I'm not gonna be able to do one-on-one -on -one with everybody. Please get it now while I still can. And if you get it now. I'll be able to do one-on-one -on -one with you all throughout the year. You will be able to reach me. You'll have a direct number to me. We can not just talk, not just text. We can have conversations, right? And so if you want to do this, go quickly. I got to get out of here. I'm blessed. I know you're blessed. We may not be where we want to be financially, all of us. But look, we're blessed to see another day and have another shot to swing. And we want to take advantage of it. Don't put that bat down. Don't give up. Don't quit. Some of you are very close to giving up and just settling your way through life. Please, please, please don't do that. Here I am knocking and saying, hey, I got an opportunity for you. It ain't even going to cost you a lot. It's going to change your life and you'll be able to do this, live the life you want to live, and then pass this down to those that come after you and bless them too. So I'm going to bless you. You bless somebody else. Is that a good deal? Is that fair? Absolutely. I got to go hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. If you want to work in your pajamas from home, hey, you can do it. Let me show you how. I'm just saying, okay? Middleman CEO Sean John signing off. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time. And for those of you who don't want to change your life and start a middleman business, I guess it's back to work for you. You guys take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Uh, I know people are coming on late. I killed it, crushed it. This is a uh, this is something great. I'll say real quick. If you want to get the middleman course at a discounted price, one on one coaching with me throughout the rest of the year, go to middlemanceo.com right now. It's on sale. It's not going to be on sale long. Click join. Get the course. I'm going to contact you a week after you start the course and we're going to do one on one training. I won't always be able to do this because we're going to have too many students. But if you go now, you'll get me too. All right, change your life, be blessed, change somebody else's life. Stay blessed by the best, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.